What's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Full Efficient Channel. Today is October 22nd, 2019. It is going to be my outing number 159 of this year. And folks, per the environment, I think the background kind of speaks for itself, but I've got two good pieces of news for you guys here on the YouTube channel. So the first good news is that EPF made it back to the West Coast. I know that many of you folks have been requesting me to go to the West Coast again and catch all the exotic and unusual and nice species over here, right? So fear no more for the Asian invasion is here. For the next few days, I am going to be exploring a few different fishing spots here in Orange County, California and uh, hopefully we're going to land plenty plenty of different and magnificent excellent exotic species of fish for my life list right if you're not familiar with what i do which is life listing and you have never seen my life list before there's a link in the description you can access it and the second great pieces of news too is that i'm actually fishing one of <laughs> with one of my youtube idols today my friend ian over here you guys probably know him as iDubs. What up, crew? Hey, you got anything to say about today's fishing session, bro? We are going to slay. Oh, all right, dude. We're going to slay and fish. So, you know, don't feel too weird if for the next few fishing sessions you actually see this dude in the videos. I know it is a big shock probably for most of you guys in the fishing community, right? Who know him? Yeah, he... He fishes. As a, as a matter of fact, he's got a lifetime license here in the state of California. For those who don't know him, well, I kind of feel sorry for you, son. Just go out there, do some Googling, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we're going to get started here at the bay. Uh, hopefully, it is going to be a wonderful morning. I just got two packs of bloodworms. We got squid. We got cut bait. You know how the fishing can get tough here on the West Coast. So okay, let me get my stuff together here. And we're gonna get ready to slay. Everything going well this morning, folks. Just tied on a little basic Carolina rig over here. A lot of bottom feeders around this area. And guess what, huh? We're going to be using one of the best baits that we usually get in the East Coast. Apparently, they have it here in the West, too. The good old bloodworm that I actually paid, I think, $1.10 for each one of them i think i paid 13 dollars for a dozen so i mean the size is pretty decent just gonna put a piece on the hook and see what shows up did you ever um get like before i ah, probably not but if you just see how people actually harvest these dudes it's pretty wild dude it's a lot of effort really yeah, yeah. they go into the mud like uh hip high uh -huh. and they use this little mud rake to rake through the mud and it's like non-stop raking rake 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 and you know every time they get a, a, a worm they just put it in the bucket it's like very hard way to make money so i kind of understand nowadays when they charge like a whole dollar for one back in the days you used to find like tons of them you know nowadays not so much ah, okay it's not very deep Size 12 hooks. One of them will have to come up. Yeah, got a hit already. Go him. Size 12 hook. Little guy, what is that? What is this? Do I have it already? Oh man, it's an opali. Yeah, it's an opali. Hey, at least we know there's something down there. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen the good, mighty opali come up, huh? Now, sadly, this is a species of fish that I already have. So, I'm just going to take a shot and release this dude. Opali on the bloodworm. That's awesome. The good thing about the opali in particular is that in the state of California, I believe there are no restrictions for taking opali, like minimum size. So I can actually chop this guy for cut bait, you know, 
Uh, maybe I'm going to put a piece of opalite on my other rod here to see if anything a little bit bigger, right, is going to show up. Oh, got something. Is that an opali again? I'm using very, very tiny hooks here, folks, in hopes that something different is going to show up. And guess what? It is another opali. I mean, I know that there's supposed to be a lot of different species living among the rocks here in California, right? It can't just everything just be opali, can it? Oh, well, I'm gonna keep trying for the different species here. I mean, wow, the big rod over here hasn't had a single hit. I dubs either, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> okay, so it's nine o'clock. We've been fishing for like maybe an hour, right? Yeah. Yeah, we've been fishing for an hour. Two up alive. You know what? California folks, the fishing can be tough. My blood worm on that rod didn't even move the whole thing is still there so i just talked to ian we're going to hop to the other side of this bridge give a cat a few cats around that area to see if anything different or new is going to show up oh what did you find oh damn free lure man yeah. that's awesome little swim bait you should tie it on and give a yeah. few cats you never know Maybe those big fish that we saw in the middle, actually, you know, they like to eat the lures. Right, right. Maybe that kid that was fishing <laughs> earlier over here forgot. Not too bad, man. Finders, keep, keepers, finders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever that thing's called. Finders, keepers, yeah, finders, weepers. Yeah, right. The struggle is real, bro. Any bites there? Nothing. How about you? Nothing. Let's get out of this hellhole. <laughs> yes, let's get out of this hellhole. <laughs> let's go somewhere else, dude. 9.41, so we've been fishing for about two hours. All right. Two hours, two up a lie. Yeah. All right. Oh, we've been using all different kinds of baits. I'm going to have to catch up with you. <laughs> you will, yes. You haven't let the fish today yet. Yeah. Oh, man. So, you know what, folks? It has been super slow. Uh, I don't know what to say. California fishing can be tough. Idubs chose the spot. No, I'm just, I'm just messing. I'm just messing, man. All right, you know, let's, let's go to another spot. Idubs taking me to very interesting areas here in the West Coast. We just got to the surf over here. I have to say though, the scenery over here is beautiful. Reminds me of those uh, fishing videos on Fisherman's Live channel. We got a dog there in the water too. I could add that to my species list. No, I'm just messing. Anyways, we got some surfers on that side. I think we're just gonna cast around here. I don't really have a surf rod, so I'm going to be using the surf rod that iDubs kind of got. Uh, of course, uh, made, made in China. We got a Shimano Saguaro over here. We're going to punch like what, four ounces you said? Yeah. Four ounces, right? So four to five ounces, see if it holds. Sounds like a plan. Oh, oh, little pets. Do I need to go maybe smaller on my hook? Uh, maybe, I don't know. I've... These may be like very small uh, surf, surf. Yeah. I mean, oh, oh, easy. Get it, boy. I think it's old. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, I did have bites. I know there's fish around here. Dang. Tiny bites, but... Oh, man. I think I just mi missed a new species. If it is, oh, it's not even fighting. Well, I do have four ounces sinker on, so... Let's see, anything on here? Yes. Yes. Yes! <laughs> I don't have this yet, my man. I think this is what they call the... Well, which one is this one? Do you even know? No, I think this is the one I showed you a picture of. Um, I think uh, this is the... the I think this is the bear, bear surf perch or something. Yeah. Yo, that's wild, man. Sick. I felt the little taps, you know? Oh, barred surf perch. Yeah. Barred, yeah, yeah oh, that's I how you pronounce it, bar? Barred, yeah. Yeah, I think this is it. That's sick. That's sick, dude. All right, quick shot and release. 
Okay, folks, I just took a few shots of our fish here. This is my first ever barred surf perch or something like that. I just want to get this guy back in the water as soon as possible because I'm not taking it. And I don't know how fragile this species is or not. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh no, wow, dude, it's gone. See, it's right here, but it is actually, no, I think it's good, I think it's good. Oh yeah, no, no, it's good, it's good. Went against the current and it is gone. Holy cow, all right. So that was a new species for me. I'm very happy about it, 259. Damn, iDubs is going all the way there to give a far away cast as far as he can. Not bad, not bad. Surf expedition going quite well. Uh, I don't need to cast mine too far. I think this distance will be enough. Just send it to heaven. That's it. Perfect. Beautiful. And just walk back a little bit. Wait for the next fish. Oh no! No! Get out of there! Oh no, dude. Oh no, dude. I got the bird, man. Huh? Yeah, no, on the line. I think it's out. I think it's out. Oh no, it's still on there. Oh no, bro. I hate getting birds, man. No, I think the bird's out. I think the bird's out. Thank you. Thank God, man. You didn't see that, bro? The bird just yeah. flew right into my line, dude. Suicidal, bro. That bird doesn't want to leave anymore. <laughs> man, four ounces, I couldn't even feel the fish. Yeah. When I set the hook, I just thought I'm bringing my weight back, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I think it's all... Oh, yes. I don't know what it is, dude, but it's on. It's on. On the blood worm. Yo, dude. Yeah, dude. Now, this time you got the right spot, bro. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's see what we got. I can feel it fighting a little bit, so it's a little bit better than the last one. Oh, what is that? That's a leopard shark. Is it? Yeah. So this, this, so this is a leopard shark? Oh, awesome, dude! That's another new species, bro! Hey, I don't care baby or not, dude. Yo, let's take a few shots, man. Oh, yeah! Yo, this is sick! That is a baby! That's a baby leopard shark! Yo, that's sick. That is great! Bloodworms on fire, bro! Yes! Little, little shark here, super active. Leopard shark, man. Reminds me so much of the, those dusky smooth hound of the east. Went away strong too. They got big, right? Yeah. They got like super big, right? You can get up like, probably like five feet long. What is like the biggest one you caught over here? Uh, three feet, I'd say. Really, three yeah, feet? They get pretty, yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, wow, that that was, yeah, I like that. All right. It tastes pretty good once they get up to like that size. Oh, really? People yeah. take them home a lot to eat? Yeah. I see. Have you ever eaten one before? No. Yo, next time I come, catch and cook, all right? Catch and cook. <laughs> catch and cook. <laughs> I think it's all. Oh yeah, it's on. Ooh, hell yeah, dude. Surf fishing, not too bad today. Can't even feel the fish because I'm using four, four ounce of sinker. But I don't mind as far as it is a new species coming up. Let's see what we got. Dude, I'm digging this West Coast surf fishing. Ain't gonna lie. Oh, it's getting a little bit better now. What is this? It's got some size to it. Oh, oh, wait. No, it's just trash. There's no fish here. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish and kelp. Oh. Yeah, bro, that's another species, bro. That, that's what you guys call the corbina or whatever, right? 
Yeah, it looks like it. It's got a, I saw the mouth. kelp, and then I was like, you know, it's just oh, kelp. Oh, yeah, dude. That's the Corbina thing, right? Yeah. Dude, it looks exactly like the kingfish of the east, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that thing's deep in its craw hole, I think. Is there a minimum size for this type of fish? I have no idea what it is. I would just cut it then. It is not like I don't want to give you guys a view of the fish or whatever. Did we got one? No. Oh, nice, dude. Fantastic. Yeah, all right. Dude is hooked over there. I'm kind of releasing this one over here. <laughs> what do you think you got over there? Oh, oh you got kelp, my man. Oh. You got a kelp fish, son. But it did bite. It did bite, right? It did bite. It I did knew bite. It wasn't just kelp. I know. I know. Oh no! I gotta. I gotta. <laughs> now, now you definitely need to catch a fish, bro. Otherwise, Ida's reputation will be will be gone forever. All right. We're breaking my secret weapon. What were you using? The squid? I was using bloodworm and sand crab. Oh. A little, uh, shish kebab. Okay, shish kebab. I like that. Oh no, tiny hits. Oh, what the? oh, wow, dude, you finally caught a fish, bro. And I didn't know it was even on there. Wow, that is great, dude. Uh, it's one of those bar surf perch. My hand is wet. It's very wet. It's right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. we got to take a shot, bro. We got to, no, no, let's take a photo, dude. All right, you're good to go, man. All right. Don't throw it, all right, man. Do a nice release for us, okay? All right, nice release. You look like you look like the dude from Breaking Bad, my man. <laughs> Heisenberg. Yeah, there's something really nibbling on this blood one. But it seems to be something small, because it yeah. I think it's all I'm not sure. You see, man, you gotta send it to heaven, bro. Woo. Yeah? Now I just like almost purely use the circle hooks. Uh huh. Those are like self setting. I know. So I'm just I like, know, dude. All right, I think I got it now. Yeah, I know, dude. Even with the circle hooks, sometimes I, I just like to set the hooks. So it's just like, boom, you know? All right, let's see who's got something on here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, there's a fish, bro. Oh, it's another, it's another one of these Corbina, right? Beautiful. You guys only got one species of these here, right? The Corbina? Yeah. Okay. As far as I know. As far as you know. Yeah. I see. Yeah, dude, I gotta, I gotta tell the truth, man. It does not look any different than the kingfish that we have in the east. All right, this one I got already. Don't need more shots. Quick hook, quick release here, man. Go back. Well, it is gone. It is gone. And my blood worm, thankfully, is still good. Oh, yeah, I hit jackpot with a damn kelp. That's one thing I don't like about the West Coast is the gigantic pieces of kelp that they have in the water. If you hit one of those giant kelp, whew, it's uh, it's exercise for your arms. And thankfully, Idubs gave me this rod today that I can handle this kelp. Because goodness gracious, look look at that! Look at that! Yo, there could be a triple tail among this kelp. Look at this! Well, for real, look at that! You guys see what I'm talking about? This is the giant kelp of the West. Dude, look at this stuff. It's a whole jungle entirely. It's like a whole organism type of thing. This is crazy, dude. Oh, it's back at it. It's back at it. Concentration, Leo. Concentration. Feel it. Send it to heaven. When the moment is right. Come on, is this still on it? What is going on here? I think it's on. It should be on. Yes, so come up. I think it's on. I'm not I'm not sure. Woo man! 
Is that concentration, boy? <laughs> yeah, dude, the fish was probably just eating down there. Don't even know what happened. Yeah. Sounds like zoom, you know? Wait, wait is this? Uh, yeah, it is on. It's on. It's on. It should be on. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, it's another one of those. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got, we got this one already. And this one actually inhaled the hook, too. Okay, you know what? Let me see if I can do some surgery on this fella and uh, release it properly. We got another one of those barred surf perch over here. And I think I should be able to save it. Well, there we have it. Beautiful sample here of surf perch. Ah, just gonna leave it over here, man. It should be able to swim away. Oh yeah, beautiful super nice well the tide is getting pretty high before i call it a day over here in the pacific ocean oh wow check that out eh? chicken of the sea right over there i wanted to give you guys a view of this place for you to realize how beautiful the scenery actually is right a lot of anglers don't tend to realize but look at this man the west coast and this is the pacific ocean right it's truly truly a gorgeous place man we got people surfing over there there were families just chilling getting some sun over here we got some multi multi-million houses <laughs> up the hill right we got idubs chilling over there just looking very bored <laughs> and hungry so we fished the surf for you know a good amount of time i would say a few hours i definitely think that it was a very good decision for us to actually shift from that lagoon back there to the surf. The bite in California overall can be tough. And I mean, I am definitely not an expert in this field because it is only my second trip down to the West Coast. But I want you guys to understand that in this video, it wasn't like the bite was like, you know, one after another, one after another, right? No, it was very sporadic. It was like maybe one bite every 30 minutes, every 40 minutes. The action wasn't like super hot. So the fact that both iDubs and I, we landed some, we probably did some crazy stuff while I was filming here, right? I, I, I'll, I'll see later. The fact that we actually landed some fish today, I'm already very, very happy about that, you know? Not to mention, right, three new species to my life list. So we're going to take a little lunch break right now, uh, go get some in and out burger, and hopefully, you know, I'll be able to <laughs> film another video. <laughs> that dude, man. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you very much for watching. Tight lines and take it easy. Oh yeah. He said he's gonna chuck it all the way out there. Let's see how far he will go, man. Will he go New Jersey crazy? Oh, dude, he's gonna get home by that way, bro. <laughs> oh, dude. He's got home by that wave already, dude. He's still going. Yo, there's another wave coming, dude. <laughs>